Welcome back everybody to DM3. Today's game is called Who Wants to Be a Healthcare Genius? Joining me today is none other than Bill Singh. So Bill, I'll be going off some easy questions and we're going to move forward to more difficult questions at the end of the game. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Alright, so our first question. Who is the Ontario Health Minister that opposed the federal government's cuts to refugee health care? Is it A. Rob Ford? B. Deb Matthews? C. Jason Kenney? D. John Tory? I believe it's B. Deb Matthews, final answer. Is that your final answer? Yes. So I'm going to lock B. Deb Matthews as your final answer. Great, that's the right answer. Congratulations. So, moving on to question number two. Who is Canada Minister of Citizenship and Immigration who said this about reinstating refugee health care? And I quote, We are doing this because the court has ordered us to do it. We respect that decision while not agreeing with it. Is it A. Chris Alexander? B. Darth Vader? C. Del Mastro? And D. Rana Ambrose? As much as I'd like to go with Darth Vader, Are you sure? Is that your final answer? Yeah, I am. Thank you. Okay. So the final answer you chose is A, Chris Alexander's. Great. Two in a row. Now, that's the thing. you got to be a bit trickier now for question number three. Okay. When was the concept of right to health introduced in the Constitution of World Health Organization? Is it A, 2001? B, 2013? C, 1946, and D, 1984. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, uh, I'd like to call a friend. All right, so Bill wants to call a friend. Um, who would you like to call? I'd like to call my buddy Matt. All right, um, let's call Matt. Hello? Um, hi Matt, um, I'm here uh, with Bill on who wants to be a healthcare genius. Um, he has a question for you to answer. Um, if he gets it right, he'll be a one step closer to becoming a healthcare genius. Are you ready? Absolutely, let's go. Uh, hey Matt, uh, so here's a question. Uh, when was the concept of a right to health introduced to the constitution of the World Health Organization? A. 2001, B. 2013, C. 1946, or D. 1984? Uh, I think it's 1946. Are you sure? Yeah, I searched it on Google. Hey, hey, you can't do that. <laughs> you, you never said you, you couldn't. Oh, well, that's true. Oh, well. What's your final answer? Um, I think I would go with 1946, C. <sighs> okay, locking in answer 1946. Thanks, man. Well, I can't argue with someone that cheated, right? So that's the correct response. So moving on to the final question. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. In 2012, there were several changes to refugee healthcare. Some cuts were made, but some refugees' conditions and medication were covered if there was A. Public security concerns B. Public welfare concerns C. A budget net surplus And lastly, D. Terminal illness Oh, it's a tough one. Um, I know C and D are probably correct, uh, but just to be safe, uh, I'd like to use 50 50. Okay, so you use 50 50. Yes. Okay. okay, Bill, so we will move on to the following two answers. The remaining choices are A, public security concern, and B, public welfare concerns. Thanks a lot. <laughs> that, that was useful. <laughs> well, nobody said it's going to be an easy quiz. Uh, so tough. Uh, it's so like worded, like, I can't... Uh, I think I'm going to go with my gut. Uh, I will pick public security concerns. Okay. Is that your final answer? Uh, it's very difficult. Yeah, I'm picking final answer. Okay, so logging in your final answer as A.
Congratulations, you're the new healthcare genius! Where's my million dollars? Uh, sorry to disappoint you, but uh, we have some budget cuts. And yeah, plus, I like it. <laughs> well, thank you for coming out to the show. Tune in for next time for next episode of Who Wants to Be a Healthcare Genius. Check us out on Facebook or on our website, www.demonspymedicine.ca. Thank you. Good night.